Hello, and welcome to more of Zelda the Wind Waker. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so we're doing my absolute favorite part of the game now. Uh, we have to uh, get the, uh, the all the Triforce pieces. Uh, luckily, we've already gotten, like, two of them, right? So, that's, that's not all bad. It'll save us some time. So, that's cool. We did the one on Outset Island, and we did the one... What else? Which one else do we do? Um... Oh, the private oasis. Yes. So, uh, next we're going to do the ghost ship. So, in order to do that, we need to go to Diamond Step Isle, Steep Isle, which uh, I don't have. I know it's near Outset. Oh boy. So we're gonna have to look for it. But, you know, it, it is an adventure. Uh, let me get my bait. Because we're gonna have to check pretty much every tile so we can find. Oh, I didn't that mean to do that. I didn't even press that button, I thought. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much going to want to check every tile so that we can find the uh, the proper island that we need to be at. And then, uh, all I know is that I'll need a hook shot. Well, I'll need the hook shot, rather. Not a hook shot. That implies there's multiple hook shots. I think Twilight Princess, right? It had the double claw shot. That was kind of cool. I like that. Mm. I don't know why I'm coughing all of a sudden. This cannot be it. Come here, chum bud. Let's see. Card information. That's Horseshoe Island. Let's see what he has to say about this. Maybe it'll be worth checking out. Who knows? On the island due east of here lives an old man who was once a masked swordsman. He's got proof of it too. He has a knight's crest. Wants to know what that thing is, Fry? Well, too bad. I can't go away giving away every secret. And that's all the info I've got to offer. I didn't even do the voice for that one. I think it's been such a long time since I've done the voice that like I couldn't really pull it off. Uh, hi! I mean, I did what? I did like the old... I did the old-timey voice! I got a cigar in my mouth, see? I... But it wasn't really quite like that, was it? I don't know. Does it matter? Does anyone care? I don't think so. Wait, so much for all the monsters being gone. Ugh. I've been very tired today. I woke up very early. Despite the fact that I went to bed very late. So I got no sleep. And I had an energy drink for breakfast. <laughs> so, uh... Not the best day. But... I was going to take a nap. And then decide to play more of this. Because if anything will put me to sleep. It's hunting Triforces. Hmm. What is this? Diamond Steep Island. There we go. Oh, I've got some great information for you, Smile Fry. Lucky you! If you use the treasure that's hidden on that island there, that thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it, it won't vanish anymore. You know it. I'm talking about it. That thing that appears on nights when a wee bit of the right half of the moon is missing. Don't you know what I'm talking about? It. 
And that's all the info I've got to offer. Yep, so we'll be able to do the the old uh the old the old pirate ghost ship. I couldn't remember what the word was. Why wouldn't there we go? Gotta be awfully close for that to work, huh? Right, you can't go in here. So I've been watching stuff about Bloodborne, like, a lot lately. And I'm like, super in the mood to play Bloodborne now, especially after playing Bloodborne PSX. So, uh, maybe that will be soon. I feel like I've been here before. Maybe there's just multiple places like this. Oh. Why are there... There's floor masters nearby, too? Actually, I'm curious. Oh, you can burn those. That's kind of neat. Oh, you asshole. I should have grabbed water first. I went to go talk and my throat just suddenly felt <laughs> incredibly dry. Oh my goodness. My apologies. Okay. Where to go? Oh, you know. Hey, I rhymed. Is this where I have to be? Already? No way. Oh, a joy pendant. That's Pog. See? That's Pog. Oh, no. Respawned. Easy, though. Didn't even break a sweat. Uh, I just killed that dog with my sweat. What's over here? Oh my god, there's two of them. You know, it's funny. People say that, like, Zelda's combat system, like, isn't really all that interesting. and Especially Ocarina of Time. But I think this game did a good job at, like, making it, like, a little bit more, like, hectic. Uh, I didn't really like Skyward Sword's combat. <laughs> like, motion controls aside, even when I played the HD version, um, which honestly is the only version I did play, but even when I played it with a controller, um, it just kind of feels like, meh. I mean, granted, like, it was a game designed around motion controls. So, you know, playing it with a regular controller, like, how good could it be? But, like, it just, to me, it felt too slow, because, like, there was so much emphasis on, like, you know, the sword play that, um, every encounter felt more like a duel than, like, an actual, like, uh, I guess than, than what other Zelda games kind of have the combat feel like. Well, it just wasn't for me. I know a lot of people like it, and I think Skyward Sword got a lot of hate when it came out, and I think now a lot of people uh, are warming up to it, or have been like, you know, the game maybe isn't as bad as we thought, and maybe it does some things right. 
and maybe, you know, it does other things wrong. Uh, but it, I don't think it's a bad game. Um, just out of all the Zelda games I've played, it's just one of the ones that isn't for me, personally. Um, I like the art style to an extent. I think some of the characters look kind of weird. Like, I don't know what's going on with Link's lips in that game. Um, but I kind of like the sort of painted look it has. Uh, even if it does look like a little blurry sometimes because of it. And... I just think, like, the world and... Sorry, the world and like the characters for the most part look pretty okay. As I said, some aspects of the characters look a little weird, but I don't think it's I don't think it's a horrible game. You know? Um I'm just personally uh I'm just not too crazy about it. Okay, so what is the phase of the moon? We know. Uh, half? Oh, it's gonna be half moon soon? So. Let's see, where do I wanna be? Doesn't it show up by Great Fish Isle? Oh yeah. Okay, so we'll head over there. And I guess we'll just use the sauna passing till it shows up. So... I'll head over there. Uh, pause the recording. Uh, play the sauna of passing how many times and... Start it back up when it's good to go. That way I can save you some of your time, because I don't want to be a time thief. God, isn't that just like a horrible term? That's like such a... <laughs> it's like a horrible wagey term. Like... I'm trying to cut back on how much I say like, by the way. Um, so... <laughs> there might be long pauses where I don't say anything, or I might say um more. Or uh. Which probably isn't as good, but I don't enjoy how much I say like. Even I was going to say I don't like how much I say like, but I'm just not a huge fan. So I'm going to slip up a few times, and I know that. Uh, so please bear with me on that. But I did listen to a couple of my videos and that was like a verbal I, don't, I almost said verbal tick I don't know if that's the right word but that was like damn it I said it again but it was something that I noticed I use as like a filler word a lot and I think I might have just said it again this is really difficult for me to break but I am trying and it's a problem too because when I type with my friends, I still type like as I would speak, so I'm very conversational. And I've started noticing that I use it a lot when I type too, because I'm just typing as stream of consciousness. So I'm just really bothered by how much I use it, and I, I just I just want to stop, or at least cut back a little bit. That's like a start. Fuck. I said it again. See, this is this is why it bothers me. And now I'm like aware of it. So again. Uh please bear with me as I try to get rid of this horrible word from my lexicon. Uh what's the song passing? Oh my god. It's like Fuck! Uh, where is it? Down, right, left? Where is it? I think I already tried that. 
Oh, no. All right, it's right down left. Okay, well, I will be right back. Okay, so the ghost ship should be nearby. It is all wavy and stuff. Oh, yep, there it is. Alright, we shall get... We shall board the ship. Okay. Look how spooky this is. Ooh. Oh, fuck you. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, okay. Is there more? Oh, that's really it? Some ghost ship. You're not even that spooky. I think there'd be like... A redead or two, but no. Here we go, we got a Triforce shot. Oh, okay. Okay. So what's next on the list? We should go to the Islet of Steel. Which I think we were just at recently, no? Yeah, right here. Just to the south. So, let's go back over there. So, all we have to do is just take out those ships. And, uh, in case you're wondering, I, I am, in fact, using a guide. I know that might be dirty, but you know what? I hate this part so much, I really do. I want to get it over with. I want to fight Ganon. Gee! I wonder what Ganon's up to. It sure is boring around here. I don't know if I need to take out all of these guys. But... I feel like... I'm, I'm not doing my duty. Uh, I guess what? Oh no, don't jump out of the ship, Link. You you fool. Man. Oh, that's very easy. We're going to spin. Nice. Very good. Right, so we want to play, what, the Wind's Requiem? What is it? There we go. <laughs> I almost forgot how to play the Wind's Requiem since I never use it anymore thanks to the fast sale. Okay. Okay, so next we want to go to Needle Rock Isle. Oh. I guess... I guess I can't sail here. How sad. 
I have no idea where Needle Rock Isle is. So we shall consult the map. Why am I pressing L? What does L do? Let's see. Oh boy, where am I? I feel like I've been to Needle Rock, but I don't remember. Oh, okay, it's right. God damn it! I pressed B too much. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. That's correct, it is. Alright, and we're off. I want to go a bit northwest of Needle Rock. Oh yeah, this is Needle Rock with that big old thing I'd use a sea on. Look out for some warships. Yeah, there we go. Damn it. Okay. And we'll just do some, you know, some real epic gamer naval combat. World of Warships really doesn't have anything on this game. And it's killing you guy! The easiest clutch, surely. So this should get me a Triforce chart. If I go to the right spot. Apparently there's... Let's see. How many of these... Do I have any other Triforce charts? A lot of treasure charts. Probably like open some of these. I don't know why I never did. Okay, well. Let's see. So I have Triforce chart one and three. Okay. So let's check out Bird's Peak Rock. Huh. I think maybe I don't have that one. Which means we'll have to check out the surrounding uh surrounding area. Just fine, I was prepared to do this anyway. I'll pretty much have to finish mapping out the whole game. So it's no big deal. I feel like I've definitely been here. here this is where like the kind of like the tedium starts to set in yes this is three eye reef i met a really weird guy on the island due east of here he had a pack on his back huger than any pack i've ever seen and i mean it was big fry he said he was looking for treasure but what does he expect to find in a place like that? I tell you, that guy is completely obsessed. That's all the info I've got to offer. Yeah, this is 
probably like the lowest point in the game. I'd say either this or uh, Forsaken Fortress or like a contender for just worst part of Wind Waker. And you know, I really do like this game, but this is kind of the part of the game where. Like, I think about playing Wind Waker, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. I love Wind Waker. And then I get to this part, or I think about this part, and I go, eh. You know, maybe I don't have to play Wind Waker. But this time I was like, you know, I really want to play Wind Waker. I know the HD version makes the Triforce stuff not as bad. Like, I remember when I was a kid, I was stuck on this for, like, such a long time. Um, I don't even know why. It, it just confounded me. I remember using the uh, strategy guide to help me out. I think I still have that like in my basement somewhere. The Wind Waker official strategy guide. I think it was like Prima games or maybe Brady games. One of those. They always make the strategy guides for games. I remember, I think it was Prima Games, they made like the, what was it, the strategy guides that were bundled in with like the World of Warcraft battle chests. I remember reading those a whole lot. When I like started playing. God damn it! It said like. Alright, this isn't, this isn't Bird's Peak Rock, is it? This is Cyclops Reef. You've seen those weird rings of light that appear on the seas at night, haven't you? Yeah, well those things are a sure sign that there's treasure in the deeps, Fry. But let me tell you, there are some lights that don't always shine, yeah? Like, there's the special ones that shine like crazy, but only when you open a treasure chart. They say that those marked spots hidden where the greatest treasures are hidden. That's all the info I've got to offer. Okay... I want to go south now. I started playing oh, a bit of yawn. Hmm. Excuse me. I started playing System Shock uh, Enhanced yesterday. And, uh, Boy, is that a product of its time, I'll tell you. I, like, there's definitely a reason why System Shock 2 is the one that everyone talks about. Oh, yeah. Have I been here? I don't think this is what I'm looking for, but I don't see where the fish is. Oh, there he is. He's all the way over there. Okay, let's check this out. I mean, once I got the hang of it, it wasn't too bad, but just, like, getting started is very janky. I stopped playing. I made it to the end of, uh, Triumph Forks. Yeah, I'm trying really hard to find those. But yeah, I, ma I made it to the end of, I think, the first level. The medical bay, but the elevator was blocked by Shodan, uh, and I really, I couldn't find out what to do. Um, I tried going back into cyberspace, and I was trying to like read my emails and notes and stuff, and maybe I had missed something, so I'll go back later and check it out, but I don't know if I should just dive into System Shock 2. Uh, because honestly what I've played of System Shock does seem cool and I want to like it. It's starting to grow on me. 
But, um, yeah, there's just, like, a lot of, like, old game jank in it. And, like, damn. I'm getting more frustrated at my own commentary and how much I, I say that darn word than I am at, like, this boring part of the game. <laughs> Problem is, I use it a lot when I'm trying to think of what to say. And when I get flustered, or I have a lot of different thoughts in my head, all like, fuck! <laughs> all competing to come out at once. It just. It just comes out of my head. Or my mouth, without me thinking. And. I'm trying to train myself to be better. I have to work on my neural pathways. I, I cannot make new ones, so I, I have to improve the ones that already exist and make them less rusty and dumb. Which is really difficult. And it's just this one... This one word causing me grief. Oh, there's more over here. So thank you for joining me on my journey. It may be a never-ending one, but I hope I can at least lessen the occurrence of the word. Because I don't think anybody wants to hear it as often as I say it. <laughs> Wait, with System Shock, it, it has some genuinely kind of unnerving moments. I don't even want to say, like, it's like a scary game. I mean, maybe back when it came out, people thought that was scary. Uh, I think the MIDI music is probably the scariest thing. Like, somebody actually made that. Like, fuck. Somebody actually made that and uh, thought it was okay to ship in the game and... I don't know if they were sober when they made it. I think that the entirety of Looking Glass might have been smoking crack while they were making System Shock. And as much as that sounds like an insult, it is kind of only half an insult because the game is really creative and I think that being under the influence might have helped in some ways. Because, man, I, would, I will tell you that Shodan is like an ever-present threat in that game. You are constantly being reminded that, like, damn it. You're constantly being reminded that she's always watching you and that she knows what you're up to and she knows what you're doing. We'll be going somewhere, and she'll just tell you, like, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing my own battle against myself. <laughs> she'll, she'll send you, like, an email. <sighs> Fuck. The stam filler word. I'm gonna lose my mind by the end of this. Telling you, hey, get out. You're not supposed to be here. Or you'll go to use a panel. And it just says... Shodan level security or something. And you just get that, like... Ah! You just, you just get that spooky face of hers. It's genuinely well done. I really enjoy the game. 
And it makes me want to play two more. Because I know two is definitely the more playable game by today's standards. And it probably influenced a lot of games that I enjoy. Uh, I really like the first Bioshock. And that was a proper use. So I can't get mad at that one. Uh, but yeah, I, <laughs> I do really enjoy Bioshock and uh, Prey. The newer Prey, not, not the old one. Okay, so that's not where I'm supposed to be. So, but hey, I can mark that off the list. Deus Ex. I mean, I think, no, that was Ion Storm. I really enjoy Deus Ex. I know Human Revolution was pretty controversial when it came out. But truth be told, I really like Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. I think they're great games. They're not as like, ah, they're not as deep as the original. I'll give them that, but I think they do a great job at being good games. I think, which is kind of a lame thing to say now that I really think about it, but. There's just so much about them that rewards like different playing styles and I did catch myself there but I'm not gonna like overreact about it anymore because it just keeps happening and I've come to accept that this is just who I am and this is how I speak. How do I... I wonder what I'm gonna get here. Hopefully it's something good. This was a treasure chart. A silver rupee. Okay. I guess that'll help with my tingle bill. Okay. So this is not what I'm looking for. This is what? Three, four, five? Some of them reefs, I think. What's oh, it gonna turn out? I do have Bird's Peak Rock mapped out and I just missed it. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to double check. Bye bye, Reef. Long ago, there was this huge fairy who lived on the south of here in the forest of Outside Island, but now all that's left is the ruins of the fairy fountain where she lived. It's sort of sad. To tell you the truth, I hear there still is a fairy there. Yep, she's still alive and kicking down there, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. I mean, hey, at least in my effort to do this I did indeed find another piece of the chart anyway let's see angular house tonight reef headstone on outside horseshoe diamond shark southern ice rain forest cliff plateau bottom island oasis southern triangle island needle rock okay so Guess we'll war to the Forest Haven and we'll check out these two areas by there. Go southeast. And we will hit up this island.
Oh, let me get my bait. Let's see, I have six more bait. I have one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, I have exactly enough bait to finish mapping out every island. That's pretty cool, actually. Complete accident, too. Alright, fishy fishy! Okay. Tell me your secrets, sir. Chart and information. We got the five star aisles. Anything cool here? I don't really remember. Have you seen it, Small Fry? The ghost ship? Yeah, I've been in it, bud. Because it's real. It's even been seen here in these very waters. On nights when the crescent moon faces down, that's when the horror rises. That's all the info I've got to offer. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I was already on it, bud. That ghost ship is toast. We just gotta check out this place in north. It's like I know what island I need to go to, but it doesn't tell me where the island is, so I still have to find it. And I'm not gonna open up like a million tabs to try to figure out where I need to go, because I'd rather just kind of explore and just have the idea of, like, this is the island in question that I should go to. It doesn't feel as cheaty. It's still a little cheaty. I'll give it that. But I think I think you know what I mean. Like, damn it. <laughs> I started this off by saying how I want to stop saying like, and I can't stop saying it. And I keep catching myself because it is a conscious thing. But maybe it's good that I catch it. Maybe that's the first step. I don't know. Has anyone ever done a change like this before? <laughs> Where they've tried to, like, make their vocabulary so different or cut out filler words? I mean, I feel like, god damn it. I guess that kind of works, actually. I feel like is a, a proper statement, actually. So, I can't get mad about that. But, to rephrase, I feel as if that people are more willing to put up with filler sounds like um and ah uh and uh than they are to hear like. You know, to go up, like, <laughs> damn it, I keep saying it. But when you hear someone say like as a filler word i think the valley girl stereotype kind of comes to mind and all you hear is you know like oh my god uh like seriously like you know and i don't want to sound like that i want to sound at least as if i function like a little bit you know Pretend a little bit. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> I mean, I'm still a, kind of a stammering fool anyway, so... I don't know how much it matters, but... Do I just have to fly up to this one? No! What do I have to do here? There's so many beetles nearby, because I'm going to probably need a lot of these pears. Yo, I eat pears. Oh, lord. Oh, there's a switch on all of them, huh?
I'd love it if I could see more of what I was doing. Oh lord. I'm terrible at flying games. I did play Elite Dangerous for a bit, but that was with VR, and that was really cool. Especially with a flight stick. I would just put on a podcast and just go space trucking. And God damn it, I missed. It was a lot of fun. Because then my space trucking would be punctuated with battles against space pirates. So that was really cool. Because you could just blast them at lasers and rockets. I do want to try No Man's Sky in VR. Which, it got announced for Switch. And I will be amazed if Switch can actually run that game. How many have I hit? Not that one, that's for sure. Oh, I hate these so much. Why do they have to make this so stressful? Come on. Please. Cool. Fly away, seagull. Be free. Nobody ever talks about how Link just has, like, telekinesis abilities. I'm gonna drive myself nuts with this. Oh my god. have a problem. I'm gonna start turning to drinking. Don't do this. Don't don't do this. <laughs> Take a shot every time I say like. Don't do it. You'll die. I'm serious. You got Triforce chart. Ooh wee. Alright, so that's Triforce chart too. So next we want to go to Overlook Island. Let me just double check, right? There should be four pieces left. That's correct. Okay, so Overlook Island. I don't know where that is. But we can check what we have done. The Isle Boating Course. Let's see. You have half, half a heart container. So I want to check out up here. But instead of warping to Dragon or Gale Isle right away, or Windfall or wherever it is, uh, I want to hit up. If I can find it now. Where is it? Light control platform. There we go. So I'll head north. Because I can get a heart container there and or a piece of heart rather and then I'll just need one more and I'll have another whole heart container I don't know if I'm gonna go crazy getting all the piece of hearts because I guess to be honest make the game a little too easy I have all those hearts at the end I know I could also get the last bottle, but I kind of just want to finish the game at this point, you know? Oh, 
Oh, you know, actually, I do... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do the flight control platform. And then I'm gonna grab this last piece of the Triforce. And then before I get the charts interpreted, I'm gonna head back to Windfall. Because I have that other side quest I want to do. That'll get me a piece of heart. I'll have to talk to the postman in the milk bar. And then we can go hit up Tingle and do what it is that we need to do with the Triforce charts. Which, I'm very glad that we only have to interpret three. It's a very expensive endeavor, still. But hey, I've got 2100. So. You know, I still never got the piece of heart from what's his name? Uh, or, or Orca. I don't know if I ever will. What is this? Birdman contest. Sign in counter. You think you're born to fly? Then take the challenge of the sky to win fame and prizes. Greetings, O person who has surely come to take the challenge of the big sky. This is where you can register for the official Reno Tribe Birdman contest. And now listen, you're free to use any means, methods, or tools you have at your disposal to help you soar through the sky. The rules are simple. See how far you can fly before you crash into the rolling seas, like so much deadweight driftwood. A banner stands now at the site where the great and talented champion who has flown the farthest to date crashed into the frothy waves in a massive splash of glory. If you're able to pass that flag, then you will be the new champion and will be drenched in praise, much as you will be drenched in seawater. Partici the participation fee is a mere 10 rupees. Well, will you take the challenge? I will! Okay, then head up the ladder you go. My brother awaits you at the top. Uh, you don't seem to have any wings or feathers or anything on your back. So you do have something that'll let you, that you can use to fly, right? I sure hope so. Here's wishing the wind beneath your uh, thing, whatever it is. Oh, challenger, the contest is afoot. You see that banner far off in the distance? That marks the record distance set by our great and talented champion. You must pass that banner. Alright. First things first. Let's make sure the wind is going in the proper direction. Let's see. Oh wait, hold on. I changed it so that it was not... I'm a dumb... Okay, there we go. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Oh no! Uh, cock me. Bloosh. A whopping 91 yards. 91 yards, but that's about average, which I mean, now you're remotely in the League of the Great and Talented. Say, have you even thought of flying into any of the updrafts? Yeah, I was trying to. I got cucked. Damn it. Do I even have enough magic now? Okay, it refills my magic. That's really cool, actually. Okay. Ah, uh, no!
Come on. Yes! Oh, no, 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 no. I think I'm gonna make it anyway. Did I make it? Does that count? Sploosh. Light distance was 256 yards. Yes, a whopping 256 yards. And, but not quite great and talented. Damn it. I think I wasted too much magic trying to catch updrafts. So. I'm not going to make this one. Ah, I, f I landed in the water in this thing. Okay. Come on! Yes! Oh, I'm gonna make it. No, that doesn't count! Oh, goal? Does it count? Breathtaking. You have shown me an incredible feat of aerial navigation. My eyes, they are unworthy. Am amazing! You blew past my brother's best record in impressive fashion. You would make a fine and distinguished member of the Rito tribe. I guarantee it. The former champion upstairs says so too. You're both great and talented. So as the new champion of the Birdman contest, please accept this great and talented prize. Nice. Come back anytime you feel the desire to fly again. I shall await with one eye on the sky and the other on the sea. I'm all out of magic. But I don't even care. I'm so accomplished. Anyway, let's get some bait out. What a beautiful night to win the Birdman contest and beat an actual Birdman's record. Just absolutely style on him. He will never recover. You know, I, I didn't think I was going to make it. To be completely honest, what is this area? This area is neat. Oh. Well, my phone just went off.
do we have? Oh, it's Overlook Island! Hey, Small Fry, do you know about the Golden Triumph Forks? I'll tell you, I'll tell you, on that island, the genuine article, but the cliff there rises sharply, and even if you want to climb it, there aren't any ledges or footings for you to grab onto. So what are you going to do, Small Fry? That's all the info I got to offer. Let's see. So what do we got to do here? Oh, easy. Hook shot. No big deal. Oh, I can't. Can't cruise the ship. Oh, wrong buttons. Come on, race. There we go. Ah! It's like a bad joke. Oh, of course. Is there like a lower one I can go to? No, that is indeed the lowest one. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Oh no, not the choo-choo jellies. Oh? Am I not supposed to go all the way to the top? Oh no. There was a hole right here. Well then, let's drop down. Another one of these, huh? Oh! Gobbles. These aren't moblins. Are these book of goblins? The moblins are the big ones. Oh boy, a joy pendant. Oh yeah, I never got feathers, did I? Yeah, 20-something feathers. Uh, sorry, guy. Your girlfriend ain't getting her feathers. Oh, well, thank you for putting these here. I guess I'll just grab my bombs. Oh, you fucker. Dang. Uh oh. Wow, how did I mess that up twice? There we go. Okay. That's half the rooms cleared. Oh. This is optimal, right? If you... Oh, man, fuck these guys. You can have a bomb.
Yeah, we we need a cutscene for uh, every time one of those gets lit. At least this one isn't so bad. And they give you the annoying enemies, like, there's not really a lot of them. Oh, was there really only four? Oh wait, no, that's, that's par for the course. Four Dark Nuts, though. Rip. Oh, okay, I can't parry the guy I'm targeting. Somebody attack, please. There we go. That's something. This really makes you wish you had like Deku nuts in this game. <laughs> when you're just waiting for parries. Oh, I think I hit like all three of them there. Oh wow. Did the other guy going backwards kill the one behind him? That's kind of cool. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, let's get that Triforce, Triforce Shard. Uh, do, do, do. How long has it been? Uh, a little over an hour. Nah, it's not too bad. Feels like it's been longer, I'll be honest. So we'll hit up Windfall. Go to the milk bar. Yeah, only need three more. And that's exactly how many charts I have. Well, hey, I made back the money that I spent on the uh, light game. And then some, and then a lot more of some, I think. Okay. There's the king! My war! This piece is what all true heroes strive for. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Go to the milk bar! Ah! I was thinking about maybe stopping after doing this, but three more Triforce Shards. I'd rather get those and then next time I can just beat the game, you know? And we can be done with Ganon. And that'll be another notch on our belt. Is 
Is that is that a right thing to say? Notch on your belt. I have a feeling that's like related to something else that isn't Nintendo. Well, that's fine, of course. Just feel free to look around. Right, notch on your belt. That's like it's not like sex, is it? Because I, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> I just meant, you know, in terms of games completed, that would it'd be another success successful game that we. Oh no. Uh, what is this? It's. Oh, what is it? There we go. That's what I want. It's only available at night at the milk bar. Because I delivered the letter. Remember that much. Oh, hello. You're spending all your money on milk? My daughter and I have managed to eke out a decent life, and in the process, I realized the great truth. There's something more important than money in the world. I think at long last, I've finally come to understand just what true happiness really is, and I'm thankful for it. Hey, have you ever seen what I call the frightening fishmen? Check this out. The other day, I was at sea on a cruise, and without thinking much about it, I tossed some leftover bait on the waves. You know, never guess what happened. This fishy-looking thing popped up on the surface. It was no ordinary fish. It had this weird human-looking smile on its face, and it just gobbled up the bait. The ocean's so very vast. Many mysterious things that we yet to even dream of lies sleeping beneath its waves. I'm having a really hard time reading, apparently. Squid. You ever been all ate up by one of them squid out on the great sea? Nope. This one time our ship got caught in this giant whirlpool, you get me? And what's there waiting for us in the middle of it? This, the giantest squid you've ever seen. All over his body, this thing had beady, gnarly, glowing eyes, and I don't know what was going on with its tentacles. Now I'm thinking on it. Those were the squirreliest eyes I've ever seen. If I ever came across that beast again, I'd whale him in the eyes. That's what I'd do. Ah, nothing better than a cup of refreshment from your local cafe after a long day's work. Nothing. I guess it really isn't the milk bar, huh? It's just a cafe. Yeah, what are you doing in a place like this at such a late hour? Isn't it bedtime for all the little brats? Well, you know what? I'm, I'm the hero of the winds. Or whatever they call this link. Where on earth is the postman? Ah! Uh. Uh, do do do. Oh, I have to go talk to... Well, I have to go see them have a heated exchange first. Actually, I think... I think there's something if I talk to the windmill guy again. Let me see. What's up, dude? By night, isn't it? Well, we looked at the Ferris wheel just started moving all on its own, so I must have started up. I wonder who got the thing going again. I don't know who it was or where he is, but he must be one nice guy, assuming, of course, that he is a guy. Well, seeing how it's finally moving again, you should go for a ride while you have the chance. You can jump on the gondola seats just around the corner from here. Trust me, little man, it's fun. Do you see that little man? The light, the light in the lighthouse has been reignited. Check out the beam of light that sweeps out now, smiling through the night's darkness. Seeing that brave beam fighting the gloom has made me so happy. I feel like giving somebody a present. So here, I'm giving this to you, little man. Oh, oh, I got a fourth piece of heart. Now Windfall Island's gonna be even more lively than before. Hooray for everything! 
All right, well now, after this, I'm going to have to just get three pieces of heart, aren't I? Which means I'll probably have to challenge Orca again. Oh, God. We'll save that for later. Honestly, you just don't understand, do you? Open up your ears. Silence! I'm telling you, we don't allow postmen here. Be gone. Be gone. Don't be ridiculous. I went through great trials and tribulations to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress and return with Moe's letter. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Then please be reasonable. Can I at least... Can you at least sign for the letter? Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Just acknowledge I was here. Yeah. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Roar! Foolish man, now you've made me angry. I can't even look you in the face any longer. Or I fear I might I can just go somewhere to cool my feathers. Roar! Well, what a wretched, unruly postman. I don't know anything about any Mr. Mo in any forsaken fortress, and yet he's always... And yet he always comes here bringing his letters. Does this Mo think I'll let him lay a hand on my one and only daughter Maggie? I don't care whose letters they are. They'll never reach her on my watch. Hello. What do you need, little urchin? Oh, you know, fuck you too. I'm not going to deliver letters to your daughter behind your back. Douche. <laughs> Okay. Is he here? He is. Oh, it's you! I'm sorry you had to witness me fly off the handle and- oh. Yeah, I guess it's his voice, right? Over at Maggie's house. I'm most embarrassed. That man just- never mind. Tell you the truth, though. I came to deliver a letter addressed to Maggie from a moblin named Mo, but as you saw, the girl's stubborn father won't permit me to give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Really? Her father won't let you give it to her? <laughs> oh man. What a stubborn, meddling old man, refusing to accept letters from the postman. Who's heard of such nonsense? I went to great trouble to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress, and it was at m it was a most frightening ordeal, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't deliver this letter, and I'm a failure at the delivery trade. But I have other deliveries waiting to be made. I cannot mope here forever. Actually, though, I have an idea. That old fool might not permit postmen on his premises, but surely he would allow you in the place, would he not? Could you deliver this letter to Maggie in my steed? Or stead? I don't know, Stied? What do you say? I'll do it. Honestly, you, young man, are a lifesaver. It truly never hurts to ask. I shall leave this letter in your care. You got the Moblin's letter. This letter has a sort of stink to it. Take it to Maggie. I'm counting on you to put this in Maggie's hands, and I thank you. Ah. That lessens the weight on my shoulders by quite a bit. How nice. Perhaps I'll do a little sightseeing here in town before I go. Although I do have other deliveries waiting to be made. Alright. Time to deliver the letter. Why won't... Okay, that was rude. Nope. Oh, it doesn't matter. The letter. X gonna deliver it to you. What's up, Maggie? Oh, Mo, my sweet, 
Burly Mo. When, oh, when will you respond to me? Trudy Lulala. Hey, is that... Could it be? The letter from Mo that I saw in my dreams? Let me read it this instant. Um... This is Mo. I like you, Matt Gee. So much that I want to eat you f for dinner. Did you hear that? Those words, this means... I mean, it must mean... Can it be? Is this his marriage proposal? It must be. At last, my feelings have been conveyed to Mo. At last, he understands how I feel. This is the happiest day of my life. Trudy duty luli la. La lu. What is it? Lali lule lo. From here on out, today will be the anniversary of true love for me and Mo. Oh, it completely slipped my mind. I must thank you for your role in this. To commemorate my anniversary of true love, I give you this. You got a piece of heart. Trudy Lu Ho, treasured always. Oh, that Mo. I just adore Mo's messy handwriting. Booty Lu La La. It's so dashing and wild and dangerous, but enough writing. Tomorrow I travel, Trudy Lu La La, to where Mo waits for me. Can I use the song of passing? Like, will Mo show up? What do you need, little urchin? What do you need? Do you get to the Cloud District often? What am I saying? Of course you don't. Point out. Uh, that's what he says. Something like that. I don't know. I haven't played Skyrim in forever. It sucks. <laughs> okay. Let's see, do you have anything to say? Oh, that Mo, I just adore it. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Alright, I guess I'll see if it changes at nighttime, and then I'll do the Sauna Passing again. If it doesn't change at all, then I'll move on to bigger and better things. That's not right at all. All right, shouldn't leave. You disapprove? Yes. All right, well, whatever. I'll do it one more time. If I can actually get the song right that I just did and like I said if it doesn't work if there's nothing changed then we're not gonna bother with it for too long it's just a waste of time bud all right let's see yeah did you find Mo? whenever I think of my dear father I lose my resolve to leave home He's so infatuated with money and precious objects, and I'm quite precious, you know. I guess I just have to stay here with him. By the way, lately he's been so obsessed with a particular kind of strange necklace. Yes, he fanc fancies those skull necklaces. Today I used Y, X, and R to show him all of mine. He just... Do I have any of those? I do. Eh? Is that one of those skull necklaces that my daughter Maggie brought back from the Forsaken Fortress? These sell quite well at antique shops. In fact, I, it was thanks to these babies that I became so filthy rich overnight. I'm pretty bright for a grubby urchin. Not many people your age can see the value in skull necklaces. But you know what? This is all you've got. It's not quite enough for me. Sorry. Twenty of them. If you bring me twenty of them, I'll give you quite a gift. I don't suppose an urchin like yourself could scrape up a few more for me. I need four more skull necklaces... What drops skull necklaces? I will consult the internet.
from moblins or gain them by defeating them. Okay. Apparently all I get is a treasure chart though. It doesn't resolve the actual side quest, I think. I don't know. I think I just, yeah. Let me... Let me... Go to Tingle now. I'll stop. MC2. Okay, where is the tingler? Oh, okay. He's not very far at all. Next stop, Tingle, and then we save the world. Ah! There it is. Saw it. Where'd it go? There it is in the distance. The one, the only, Tangle Island. Oh my god. Shark attack. Okay. Oh, my phone went off again. Didn't vibrate though this time. I guess that's good. It's not as noisy. Nothing important, really. Anyway, let's go talk to Tingle. Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. Is that- I, that's definitely not the voice I used for Tingle at the beginning. But that was so long ago, I don't even remember what it was. What should we play? What do you want to play? What- you're not here to play? Hmm? That fragrant, musty scent. Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid, splendid, show me, show me. Why, you can't read that chart in its current state. Impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher it for you for 398 rupees? Sure. Tingle, tingle, kulimpa, become readable. You got your chart deciphered. Would you like me to decipher another chart for 398 rupees? Tingle, tingle, kulimpa, become readable. Should I do it for all three? I think I should do it for all three. Right. One last time. Tingle, tingle, kulimpa, become readable. Da 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 da. Hmm, Mr. Fairy, you must try very hard to find treasure. When you select and open this chart on the map screen, the place where the treasure is will shine forth. Then you just go to that place and rely on your chart to help you find the treasure. Oh my god, Mr. Tingle, you've got a choo-choo jelly outbreak on your island. Okay. Let's see. Triforce chart. I don't know where that is. Is that... Is that by Great Fish Isle? I think that's great fish eyes. Right. Yeah, okay, it totally is. So that's where we're going first. And
Okay, so that is going to be in the northwest corner of Great Fish Isle. There we go. I still think it'd be really cool if you could, like, pick these up. Like, before you find the chart. You found a Triforce shard! Alright. What's next? Dude, what the hell even... That is such a non... Like, what could that even be? Circular. No. Guess we'll go to Stonewasher. Is that block to the southwest? I mean, how many circular islands are there? Ba 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 ba. I think this is gonna be like the last time we hear the song because I'm gonna go down to Hyrule once I do this, and I'm gonna save. We're going to go to Ganon's Fortress. Oh, ooh, there's a beam. <gasps> beam so unisex. Beam. Don't hit me with one of them bombs, please, sirs. We did it. Okay, one more. Triforce chart three. Okay, that's a little funky looking. Oh, I can make it even bigger? I didn't even notice. Enhance. I think that's where I gotta go. I think the last dungeon should be like about an hour, right? I just want to head east. Because I wasn't making the right call by saving it for some other time. But we shall see. Ba -da -da -da. Oh wait. I almost went right past the island. Oh, nice. At last, you found the last shard. Fused together, all eight form the Triforce of Courage. 
バババババー My boy, well done. With the shards you have collected, the Triforce of Courage is now complete at last. Oi, we must make it for Hyrule quickly. Going to Hyrule. Not after you've scrubbed all the floors in Hyrule. Let's savor these last few moments of the Great Sea together. And the night brings silence. It's bittersweet. I'm going to miss that music, man. Oh. All right. Why are you slowing down, bud? Tell you to slow down. I say, how do I get to Hyrule? I don't see the thing. Well done. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. Um, Link, that's offensive. Oh my god. Oh, what is this there on your hand? The Triforce Beast. Peace. Beast. The Triforce Beast now dwells within you. It, it, it's the Triforce of Courage, proof that you are indeed the true hero. You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has been bestowed upon you. Surely, from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of Winds. This is completely... I've lost the plot on this man's voice. Hero of Winds, go forth to Hyrule, to Zelda Sai. Yeah, this guy's voice is forever... It used to be like this, and then it kind of went like this, and now it's whatever the fuck I feel like. Oh. oh. Get the funky lighting. The king. I'm concerned about... Princess Zelda, quickly, go into the castle and confirm her safety. Well, you know she ain't safe. I wonder what Ganon's up to. Aw, oh, Rip Link. Not, not this Link, you know, statue. How about a kiss? Oh! <laughs> you have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I have taken your precious Zelda. And here, you shall fall into eternal slumber. Oh, it was some dark, dark nuts. Some armored boys. Your boy has the power to repel evil, boy. Come on. One of you attack. I have to parry. Oh. Oh no. 
Yo, did he just kill his boy? Oh. That would have been really funny. See you, sucker. I kind of push Link back a little bit. Ganon BTFO? Yeah, I think that that's indeed what just happened. He ain't got nothing on us, buds. Oh, uh, am I gonna tell the king? Oh no, okay. Okay, so we'll just make it inside the beginning of the dungeon and, and I'll save and quit. Oh. Oh, I just went backwards. Duh. Why did it face me backwards? That's silly. Listen, I, I knew I did that on purpose. I just didn't want to leave you guys so quickly. Because I like you a lot. Don't take that too personal. Oh, what a perilous journey. Shoe jellies and whatever the hell these things are called. Shadows are going nuts, so I don't know what's up with that. My Wii U is acting up. I guess, you know, it just happens sometimes, you know, you play your Wii U and you're trying to play Wii U games and it just kind of has these little graphical glitches, like, no big deal, really. Oh, oh dang. Another one of you, huh? It's like you guys just don't learn your lesson. Why are they dogs in this game? I never really understood that. Use that hook shot. The way bats. Okay, I think if I save here, I will be good. So, thank you for watching and sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed.
I am glad to have the whole Triforce chart part of the game done with, and I'm excited to move on to the castle. So stick around and look out for that. It'll be out soon-ish, probably. Uh, and again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one, and bye-bye.